Hello, welcome back to Ever So Sweetly. I'm Jessie and today we are in Seattle. Um, we're gonna do a few different things today, but right now we are at the Starbucks Reserve Roastery and Tasting Room, which is a mouthful, but there it is back there. And I'm not 100% sure exactly what this is. A friend of mine came out to Seattle and said it was really cool. And obviously being somebody who loves coffee, I wanted to check it out. So I guess there's some kind of coffee experience. I don't know exactly what that means. Um, so we're gonna find out and we're of course gonna get some coffee. They have these little bronze coffee beans on the way in. Here's what we got. This uh, pastry here is a fresh strawberry tart. And then over here, this sandwich is a prosciutto and fontina on cornetto. And then Emmanuel got this sandwich, which is this one, which is like a ham sandwich. Kind of hard to see. It looks like it's mostly bread. which is non-alcoholic, just coffee. <laughs> I'm scared of this. Do you put the whole thing in there? Let's start with that. Cheers. Um, it's very Tasting, but it, it literally tastes like it's been in a barrel. <laughs> Good. Time for the espresso. So we're gonna start with the decaf because it's decaf. So we'll start with that. So this is the decaf Costa Rica. Here's my little espresso shot. espresso machine and then we go over and then we drink the espresso shot and then we just like ah, 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 ah. <laughs> that's how I feel all right 
So here we go with number two is this one. So let's just we're not gonna really talk about that one but out of these two this one was definitely my favorite I thought it was the least um, I thought it was the most palatable how about that <laughs> I will say the funny thing is is when they first gave me this as the cold brew I was like what the heck that's not enough coffee but this is really really strong it's kind of like I don't know, it doesn't taste strong like coffee. It tastes more like, it, it might be like more like an alcoholic style beverage, but it's not. So I don't know. <laughs> it's just really strong, kind of hard to drink. Oh, there's my baby. Hi, baby. She didn't have any coffee even though she, her face just looked like she did. <laughs> Market, which we drove through a little bit on the way over here. It looks really cute and super busy. Um, yeah, so this should be fun. As you walk in, they have you take a photo, and our baby was asleep, so we held her up inside of her carrier, sleeping, to take a picture. And as soon as we took the picture, literally as soon as he snapped it, this one's awake. You're supposed to wake up for the picture. That's okay. At least you get to see the, the creatures, right? The sea creatures? Yeah.
squishy. Oh, Ew, bleh, bleh. I imagine it to be Touch hard. the urchin. It's like toothpick, not sharp. The bigger ones aren't sharp. The baby's gonna touch. How was it? How was it, baby? Ew, it's moving. So we're here on a Sunday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's quite crowded. Quite crowded in here. We have left the Seattle Aquarium and we've come to Pike Place Market now. My uh, goals here are to look around obviously and get a snack and then eventually get some food. But it's really crowded. <laughs> German chocolate. The original Starbucks location on Pike Street. You'll notice it's very tiny and you'll also notice this long line of people waiting to get in there which literally goes all the way down there. You can see the original logo. it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it um i do have to say that i honestly feel like the starbucks reserve was one of the highlights of the entire time that we spent in the seattle area um i really really enjoyed it it was so beautiful inside the food was yummy the coffee was so good really really strong <laughs> but really really good i i honestly love that entire experience it was super cool so if you're a coffee person you definitely need to code you definitely need to go um check that out the uh, Pike Street Market was also really cool, really interesting to get to see. But we, when the day that we went, it was a Sunday afternoon, and it was so crowded. 
like beyond crowded. I don't know if it's always like that, but it was definitely like that when we went. And um, so I would like to go back eventually at some point and see if maybe I could see more because it was kind of difficult with there being so many people there. It was just, it was packed with people. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next Washington video. Bye.